In addition to that, you have a charge of resisting an officer without violence and threat of death. Sir, I was in my uh, officer. I was in my cell. I was in my cell when I made threats to myself, sir. I, I never made a uh, verbal threat to anybody. I was in my cell alone when I was speaking to myself. When I first got to the jail, I asked to be placed in the jail by myself in a cell by myself, sir, because I was frustrated and I did not want to escalate it. So anything that I said to it out loud was said and confidential to myself within my cell by myself, sir. Nobody believes that, bro. Nobody. Yeah, the, the, allegations, the allegations are you don't need to talk about what you're accused of because we are being recorded and it may be used against you. The, the complaint says this is the officer's version. Upon being en route to the correction facility, which means in the car, um, he, 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 he stated many he threats to me. Let me finish. Benjamin stated many threats to myself as a law enforcement officer. Benjamin stated, I'm going to kill all you crackers. I'm a white trash cracker from a white trash town that no one would even bother to piss on. So that's what you're accused no, I said, of. I, hate all you. I said, I hate all you crackers. Okay. I know you got a death. Right. Go and have Clarissa cancel the child support and physical person so that way she won't receive no more child support payments for us and tell her if she don't cancel the child support today or tomorrow that everything else that we do for the child, we will no longer be doing, Chantel. Yeah, I don't. you, you need to stop talking. You're not doing anything but hurting yourself. Ma'am, you, you, don't, you don't need to do that. He's that's, giving you horrible that's advice. My law, she, uh, my law, you you just need though. the first appearance is over. You need to have a good day, sir. Ma'am, you need to talk to an attorney or go to Department of Revenue. Have a good day, ma'am. We have Shedrick Roll next. Welcome back to Time Serve, the channel that's against the docket, so you don't have to. I am sure we all have had our moments when our significant other has called us a slob. Well, at least mine has. But boyd, oh boyd. Judge is about to call out a drunken stupor like no one else. Just get a load of this jerk and what he decided to do after his girlfriend, who's probably supporting him, I might add, calls him out for eating in the bed. If you're a fan of the channel, please hit that subscribe. It's a small click for you, but a huge deal for the algorithm and the channel. If you are watching while eating in bed, I strongly advise you to put a lid on it or Judge is gonna get you. Let's roll, nerds. All right. Court will find, we're back on the record. Court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived his right to jury trial. Did you review the plea bargain page with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. All right. According to the plea, punishment is to be assessed at three years in the prison. The state recommends community supervision. They're taking in consideration 724783. There's an affirmative finding of family violence. There's to be no contact with Yanara, Y-A-N-I-R-A Hernandez. Did you understand that to be the plea? Yes. Did you understand with an affirmative finding of family violence, you're not allowed to own or possess any weapons or ammunition? Yes, sir. Did you understand with an affirmative finding of family violence, you're not allowed to be designated as primary custodial parent? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand that to be the entirety of your plea? Yes, ma'am. Defense, is that the plea? It is, Your Honor. State, is that the plea? Yes, Your Honor. Did you review the waiver of appeal paragraph with your attorney? Did you understand it and sign it in both places? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand by signing that you're waiving your right to appeal? The only items that can be appealed are written pretrial motions that have been filed, heard, and ruled upon by the court. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. Counsel, have there been any such motions? No, Your Honor. Outside the agreement, the state is requesting that your community supervision be for a term of three years and there be a TAP evaluation. Did you understand those are recommendations from the state and the court does not have to follow those recommendations? Yes, ma'am. Then to the offenses charged, how do you plead? Guilty, not guilty, or no contest? No contest. State, any evidence? Yes, Your Honor. State offer states one and attachments. No objection, Your Honor. Did you review the waiver and consent to stipulation of testimony and stipulations with your attorney? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. And did you sign it in all the appropriate places? Yes, ma'am. Again, did you understand you have a right to jury trial, a right for you or your attorney to cross-examine and confront any witnesses the state would call and the right to remain silent? Yes, ma'am. Did you understand that today the state will be presenting evidence in the form of witnesses' statements and police reports? But most importantly, there will be no live testimony. Did you understand? Yes, ma'am. 
court will find that defendant has knowingly and voluntarily waived and consented to stipulation of testimony and stipulations. Court will accept into evidence states exhibits one and attachments and review the same. All right, after reviewing states exhibits one and attachments, the court will find there is sufficient evidence to find you guilty and the court will find you guilty. Are you proceeding with sentencing? Yes, sir. Anything you wish to say on behalf of your client? Your Honor, we would just ask that you follow the plea bargain. Um, from the moment I was appointed to represent uh, my client, he's he's expressed remorse for what happened. He's expressed a desire to try to resolve these cases, uh, put this behind him, uh, do what he has to do, uh, do what the court orders him to do. And uh, he, he just wants to put this behind him, Judge. He is sorry for what happened. He is remorseful for what happened. He's expressed that to me. Uh, through the course of my representation, and we would ask that you follow the plea bargain. All right. Do you have any children? Just one. Age? Eight. And who does the eight-year-old live with? Um, with the um, ex-girlfriend. All right. And the eight-year-old, is that a boy or a girl? It's a girl. And the prior assault case you had, who was that person to you? Um, the the ex-girlfriend. Oh, other, sure. who's the father? I mean, who's the mother of this child? Um, no, no, it's oh. another woman. It's the All right. So, do you love your daughter? Yes. How much do you love her? A lot. All right. So, how would you feel if somebody were to hit her? No, not good at all. All right. Let's say her boyfriend. How would you feel about that? Uh, it's not right, and nobody should put their hands on it. A woman or anybody. Yeah, and especially a woman they supposedly love, right? So then why are you doing it? It was a mistake. And No, those were choices. You were making choices. That wasn't a mistake. So why are you choosing? I was intoxicated and I, I was in myself. Nope, I'm that intoxication like, thing is an excuse. Because let me ask you, in 2014, when you had the same instance with somebody else, was that, were you intoxicated then? No, I was 17 years old at that time. I was just right. immature and just not. No, there are plenty of 17 year olds who do not get into physical altercations with people they claim to love. So why are you doing this? I shouldn't have done it. It was, it was a mistake. Just... No, a mistake. That's not a mistake. You're making choices. You chose to drink, right? And then you chose to come back to the to the location with her and eat in bed, which she was complaining about because you were eating sloppily in bed. And then an argument ensues about you being, you know, eating food in bed. And then that turns into you uh, hitting her. So I'm trying to figure out why are you doing that? These are choices you're making. These are not mistakes. If you are, unless you're saying you mistakenly hit her, because according to what I read in the stipulations, there wasn't a mistake in you hitting her. You did it intentionally. It says you were supposed to go to a job interview, but you got drunk with some friends. And it says that she, who has a job, picked you up after she got off of work. So that means that she's working, you're not. You decided to go drink instead of going to a job interview. And then it says she finished work, she picked you up, and they got food together to bring home, which since you didn't have a job, she probably paid for. Once they got home, you got into bed and started eating sloppily in bed and began to take his clothes off. You're disgusting. She got upset due to the fact that you were making a mess in bed and an argument ensued. It says, then you proceeded to slap her on the right side of her face, then push and restrain her against the wall. And while you had her um, hands pinned against the wall, she was able to break contact. And then you brought her down to the ground and pinned her down by putting a knee in her stomach and slapped her. 
And the only reason why this ended is because there were two witnesses who heard the commotion and they came in the room and they said when they came in the room, she was yelling for you to get off of her. And then they said you were laughing at the two people who were coming in the room. So none of that is an accident or a mistake. So you need to figure out why you do the things that you do. Do you understand? And are you employed? Not at the moment. I've been on house arrest ever since I got bonded out. It's been like three months. Already. When's the last time you had employment? Um, three months ago before I was on house arrest. Well, in this, she said you were looking for a job. So you didn't have a job during this time. What do you do for work? Or work, did for work? Warehouse associate. The court is going to sentence you to two years and I'm sorry, three years in the prison. Suspended and probated for four years. There's an affirmative finding of family violence. There's to be no contact with Yanira Hernandez. Regular reporting by Zoom or in person. Regular random UAs. Uh, TAP evaluation. That can be out of custody since you're already out of custody. And to follow all TAP recommendations. There's to be no unsupervised contact with minors. And that's going to remain in place until he completes the parenting classes. I'm going to order 120 hours of community service restitution. Once he completes parenting classes, that will be deemed satisfied. I'm going to want 180 sober meetings. And 180 days. We'll do the MRT course. Take in consideration 724783. And on the U.S., make sure they test for alcohol, proof of employment within 30 days. There's to be no employment as a home health care provider or with minors. Field visits. One time per month for six months. State, how do you feel about the GPS? Uh, in terms of potentially removing it or not removing it? Uh, the state, I think it's a blanket position with these kind of cases, Your Honor. Uh, we just believe it's in the best interest of community safety to have that monitor on. All right, we're going to do um, partial GPS and for him to complete any classes and that's going to be for four months and if he has no violations then you can come back and ask for it to be removed and probation do those monitors need to be switched out all right and so that needs to be done uh Probation, if I say it's done by August 2nd, is that enough time? Uh, probation, is there anything else he needs? Is there anything else you need from the court? Um, well, I'll be given an opportunity to get the uh, ankle monitor taken off in four months. Or Yes, if you are successful on it and there are no violations. All right. Did you review the document entitled trial court certification of defendants rights to appeal with your attorney? Did you understand it? Yes, ma'am. And did you sign it? Yes, ma'am. Because this is a plea bargain agreement, because I followed your plea bargain agreement, and because you waived your right to appeal, you do not have the court's permission to appeal. Because this is a, a felony conviction and also an affi affirmative finding of found, hopefully the BIPP course. I'm sorry, probation. Did I put the BIPP course in there? All right, at the BIPP course, 
hopefully the BIPP course will help you address those issues. Can I see that fall back, please? So hopefully that will help you address those issues. If there is something else that is going on with you that is causing you to behave the way you do, then let the court know. You've been placed on probation, so I want you to successfully complete it. And I don't want you to come back to another court for these same issues. So you're gonna have to start looking within yourself to find out why you are behaving the way you're behaving. And it's not mistake, you're making choices. You're making choices to drink to intoxication and you're making choices to put your hands on someone in violence. You understand? Yes. All right, good luck to you, okay? Thank you, Judge. You're welcome.